Tricks and treats aren't just for kids. With Halloween Rider to celebrate them with a Halloween bash full of ghostly good fun. Here to help us host a spooky soiree is entertaining expert Paul Son. Hi, Paul. It's so good to see you. How are you? I'm spooktacular. How are you? <laughs> I love it. I love your setup. You even, you even have a big spider right behind you. <laughs> so cool. <It's> scary. <laughs> yes. Before we begin, tell me. How much do you love Halloween parties? Halloween and Halloween parties are my favorite. It's nostalgic. You feel like you're a kid again. You got to get festive and you got to bring out some really fun accoutrements for your soiree. What do you think? Uh, that's true. And you're also an expert at throwing those parties, Paul. So where do we even begin? So let's start with a fun popcorn a party mix that is equal parts trick and equal parts treat. So what I did was I took some popcorn, I popped it myself, you can get some fun flavors if you want to do that, and then I threw in some blue diamond thin dipped almonds. So these are a great treat for all ages to satisfy hunger and cravings. We have two delicious flavors right here. We have dark chocolate, sea salt, caramel, and then we have double dark chocolate. So these are gonna go perfectly with the delicious popcorn because they have a, a little bit of sweetness to them and they have a nice crunch to them. In fact, they have 50% less sugar than the average chocolate covered almonds in five grams of protein. So that's the trick is that it tastes delicious and you're not gonna break the calorie bank when you're chewing on these. Nice, and I have to tell you, our executive producer, Jessica, tried the almonds one and she could not stop eating them. So they are good. <laughs> All right, let's talk about cocktails because if we're going to have a party, we have to have cocktails. Can you tell me about this one right here, the red one? Yes, we have a delicious Jim Bean Bourbon Wonderful Witch's Brew. Again, we're leaning into the theme of Halloween, obviously. So this is an iconic bourbon that is absolutely delicious. And we've mixed it with some pomegranate juice for that red. It's sort of like a blood. We have some mint. We also have some ginger beer. And it's super easy, super delicious, and everybody's gonna love it. And you wanna put it in a fun, festive glass, right? What do you think of the glasses? <laughs> I love the glasses, they're so cool. What about this one right here? That looks really nice too, like the orange. That's perfect for the occasion. Ah. It's not just orange, it is pumpkin spice because we are creating a fun little pumpkin spice espresso martini or espresso drink. So what this is, is it is one shot of espresso, one shot of vodka, and one shot of some pumpkin spice liqueur. But it is not any pumpkin spice liqueur. It is a Mozart chocolate pumpkin spice. So this is made with chocolate from Belgium. It has some real pumpkin juice in there, some cloves, has some cinnamon. So it's gonna bring that pumpkin vibe and the bottle is perfect for Halloween. And then we mix that with some Haku vodka. So Haku means white in Japanese. This is a premium, Japanese vodka that's actually made with white rice. That's the name, Haku white rice, you know. Um, and it is filtered with bamboo. It's a premium vodka, perfect for any cocktail, including this wonderful Halloween cocktail. And again, a super easy cocktail. One shot of espresso, one shot of the Mozart chocolate pumpkin liqueur, and then one shot of the Haku vodka. What do you think of that delicious, luscious libation? Sounds delicious, but I also like that it's very easy to make. Perfect, check mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we have the drinks, of course, we have the cocktails. We have to have food if we're gonna have a party. What do you suggest? You know, the mom and dads out there, the moms and dads, they can swipe the kids' candy to create an elevated charcuterie situation, which is what, what we did right here. So what we did was I took some salami, some gouda, some blackberries, some popcorn, and then a little bite of a Kit Kat for the perfect salty and sweet little charcuterie bite. And again, this is upcycling some of the Halloween candy, a great idea for after Halloween, as well as if you're hosting a Halloween party, this is the perfect a little platter to put out with some elevated charcuterie that's also upcycled from your kids' candies. This is the one time you can steal from your kids' people. <laughs> <laughs> what I do you like think? That. I like that. And of course, if we're going to have a Halloween party, we need our costume, right? So what are you going to be for Halloween, Paul? I mean, I can't reveal it, but I'm going to give you one hint. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I have no idea. Any guesses? Wait. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe Ken? <laughs> You can, that's right, can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul. Happy, uh, happy Halloween to you. Happy Halloween, guys. For links to all of the products featured on the show today, visit our website, nbcdfw.com forward slash Texas Today. And for more party planning tips, be sure to follow Paul on Instagram at Paul